It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh, we've got the guys from Beers Crawl, Charles and Kevin here. Now, guys, I want to know from you, Charlie, especially, what are your top tips for brine? Like out there in the elements, what 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 would you suggest? Oh uh, well, I think uh, top brine tip from me, which I learned from my dad, is yeah. Especially when you brine steak, you must first wait till the blood comes through yeah, yeah. Uh, before you turn it over. So I think that's probably one of the, the most decent yes. tips he gave me. <laughs> it actually works, yeah. Wow. And and, and uh, warm fire for steaks, mm. uh, yeah, and very, not very not nice. too long on the on the fire. Now I'm sure with your with your touring, you get to go to many amazing places. Kevin, mm. what's one of the coolest places you've ever been able to have a bry at? Well, uh, Charles being the bry master here, I would have to say, probably at his dad's house. Awesome. <laughs> no, that's yeah. cool, that's cool. And then you do the brying, I'm sure. Yes, yes, no, I love cool. brying. Jan Bry, so good to have you on our Feel Good Breakfast show. Yes, like it. It's windy out there, right? It is quite windy, but you can bry in any, any place yeah. in the world. Doesn't matter what the circumstances are. Yeah. You know, you don't really use gas, but I always feel when you make a poiki, it can even be in a kitchen when there's a hurricane outside. Oh, the, wow. a, a poiki is the true essence of getting South Africans together around a meal. And, and if the conditions on the 24th of September might be like this, or uh, snow, we hope some rain still heating Cape Town later, then make a poiki in the kitchen. Absolutely. Well, your national bride tour is happening from the 12th to the 19th of September. And of course, you're encouraging South Africans to unite around a fire and showcase heritage sites on route. Any bride disasters that you've ever experienced? Because, I mean, gale force winds out there. I'm sure there's been some crazy things you've experienced. The next time that I'm on a different TV show and somebody asks me that question, I'll refer to the time <laughs> we were live on Espresso and the first light it didn't work. But fortunately, we, we yeah. got a backup one in time. I think in a situation like that, what works well is just use as many fire lighters as you can <laughs> as you find. So we can. just use two boxes yeah. and uh, the second fire light. And then what also works is when you crumble the fire lighters, like mm. you do with feta cheese on a salad, yes. because that releases some of the paraffin <laughs> in the fire light, and then it's easier and to light. Never mix up the two. Never mix up the two. <laughs> <So> if <laughs> the you fire are, in, if the you are in, in any doubt as to whether the fire is hot and big enough, then add more wood. Okay, mm. Charlie. Any bright disasters that you've experienced? Yes, actually, with a uh, gas pry. Um, that is a disaster. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is a disaster by itself. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't usually do gas pries, but um, uh, in London, once there was a guy uh, where we were staying at, and he actually turned on the gas a uh, while before we actually started prying. Yeah. And then I didn't know that. And as I lit the, lit the, 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 the gas pry, the, the whole thing came over my head and I got burned on my head <gasps> and my face. Is that why you're wearing the cap yes, today? Yes. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a such serious situation, <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In London. <laughs> I think on fire safety we should just mention never ever open the gas briar before you've got a flame lit yes. yeah. and only bry with gas in, in well ventilated areas but preferably never bry with gas rather yeah. invite gaste to your bry yeah. and then um, of course when you when you struggling to light the wood never add petrol it explodes yeah sure <laughs> guys thank you so much for joining us and of course Jan Bry going to be making some delicious recipes oh, um, a little cool. bit later on on the show but it's time for us to find out what else is happening on your feel good breakfast show Graham what's up